Hey, my name is Michael Newell, and this is my Slavery and Civil War discussion post. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get right into it. So, first off, I want to address the um, quote by Abraham Lincoln. Uh, so, also, I do know that it's not this discussion that's supposed to be like, you know what I mean, my opinion, my opinionated. But I do want to give my opinion on this quote first. It say, if I could save the Union without freeing any slave, I would do it. And if I could save it by freeing all the slaves, I would do it. And if I could save it by freeing some and leaving others alone, I would also do that. In my opinion, I this just changed my whole opinion on uh, Abraham Lincoln. Not all bad, but some bad. Because I always, growing up, I always thought Abraham Lincoln freed the slaves on his own, like, he didn't. He was against slavery. I didn't know up until I taken his class that he really didn't care about. It. Like he he was he was he more cared about saving his country, saving the union, and the Confederacy. He wanted to bring the nation back together rather than free the slaves. So that's what I took out of that. He he just wanted to do whatever he had to do to bring the nation back together. But now getting into the um the actual discussion. Here we go. That being said, I want to go ahead and jump into the first um, discussion question that um, state that revolves around was slavery the sole reason or the core of why the Civil War was fought? And I say, I mean, from what I've done, like after research and what I've concluded, I, I believe that slavery was the core of why um, of why the Civil War started. Not because it was a matter of whoever wins get slavery or not it was more about um this the south was more fighting because they wanted slavery to expand and the north were fighting because they didn't want slavery to expand but it wasn't that the north wanted the slavery to be abolished you know what i mean there were abolitionists there were people who were against it but the north would have rather just kept the slavery in the south and left the west alone so they could industrialize and do more and um yeah so that's how that's how it began, but as the war went on, you know what I mean, and my bad. As the war went on and black people began black people began escaping from the south and going up to the north, this allowed for um they started escaping to the Union where the free states were, and this caused Abraham Lincoln to come up with to make the Emancipation Proclamation, which allowed slaves to, you know, enlist into the army and stuff like that. So over 180,000 slaves were able to go fight, and a lot of them defied their masters from their plantations and escaped to the north, which enraged the south. It made them hate Abraham Lincoln even even more than they already hated him because Abraham Lincoln, his election itself, didn't just the fact that he wasn't fully against slavery already made the southerners mad. So by the fact that he made that, it was a done deal for the southerners. But, um... With the Emancipation Proclamation, they allowed African Americans to enroll into the war, and so that's where I feel like that was the turning point of the war that made it about slavery. Like it was set in stone, like this war is whether slavery is here or is not, and so um, you know that's 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 how it gets concluded with the end of the war when the Union wins, slavery was abolished and that was set in stone. I'm sorry, I had to move locations, but um, to continue. Um, in in um in chapter fifteen, the textbook, in chapter fifteen point one, um I think it's called, let me look, the origins and outbreak of the Civil War. Um, it also elaborates on the the why the causes of the Civil War, and how slavery was at the center of everything pretty much. When because when Lincoln was elected, Lincoln's election enraged the Southerners. But it was his election was not the cause of the war. Several factors had played into it, had played into the ultimate split between the North and South, such as like the West, such as like I said, the Western expand the Westward expand slavery expansion, which the Union was trying to prevent, and they didn't approve of the abolitionist movement, which um the southern the Southerners were in disagree disagreements with. They did not support the abolitionists. They wanted to keep slavery. And the new the new political parties, which were the um the new political parties that formed, which were the Liberty Party, Free Soil Party, and the Republican Party, who strongly opposed the spread of slave the slave I'm sorry, who strongly opposed the spread 
the spread of slavery. And um this all led <clears throat> It's all led to slavery being the main center focal point of the Civil War and why it was being fought. Another possible uh, cause that centered around slavery was the cre the I, I forgot this was the Credendon Compromise, and I wrote down right here where it says this quote unquote Credendon's goal was to keep the South from succeeding, and his strategy was to transform the Constitution to explicitly protect slavery forever, and um the Republicans which. Abraham Lincoln was a part of, and he's the current president at the time, he rejected this offer. He either rejected this compromise and that further like enraged the South even more. And so this is the turn of, this is where this is where the North and South began to split in regards to the South, I mean the North in in uh, op opposition to the idea of slavery expanding in the South in supports to in support for slavery to be pushed around the entire the entire United States to the entire states. But yeah, my bad. That was interrupted. Um and my second discussion question was what impact did the war have on slavery and conversely what impact did slavery have on the war? And um I'm gonna answer the second question first. What impact did slavery have on the war? Um right here Abraham Lincoln states that the role of black soldiers is essential in ensuring that the war would end with the abolition of slavery. He said this in the um he said this in the video, the Civil War Ends video. And um he was just like basically saying that <clears throat> this led to my bad, this was leading to his act of emancipation, which allowed the black men to join the army all over the South where um the slaves were fleeing their masters I have wrote right here, it says that um, he allowed the black men to join the army. So all over the South, there were slaves fleeing their masters in attempts to reach the Union territory to fight. And like I said before, the number of African-American soldiers that joined the Union was up to 180,000. And in my opinion, this formed a whole new meaning for the slaves as they was able to fight for their families and their friends, like fight for their whole, like, you know what I mean, existence, really, like, or in, the, in America, at least. But um, I could just imagine like having so much to like you, you like you fighting that war. You got so much to fight for. Like you just know that if we we come out with a victory, then it's a chance that you could free your entire like race. That's just motivation to me. The first question, which states that um, the first question which states what impact did the war have on slavery? Of course, it was impacted greatly as well. As I wrote here, when it says. <laughs> the Union, after winning the war, they were able to free 4 million slaves. So just off the Civil War alone, four, all 4 million slaves that were cap in captivation were able to be freed. It also impacted the masters and the slave owners themselves as they were losing essential workers and people who, you know what I mean, the people who literally built their farms from the ground up. And so that's what I, that's how I, that's how I view it at least. And um, that's how I view it because Although, yes, they freed the slaves, and I'm not advocating for the masters, but like I said, they lost their they lost their whole supply of workers and everything like that. So farms began to fail, plantations began to fail. And of course, the South was displeased with this, but after losing the war, they had to focus on reconstruction and getting the South back on their feet. And that was, that's most likely what, that's I mean, that's what led to after the Civil War, but in this time period right now, I say the biggest thing is that the war did for slavery was freeing them and causing destruction within the South. But um in this next discussion, I wanna discuss um the text how slavery really ended in America and why and why that's important. Like the key points that was pointed out in this um article. How slavery really ended America is about this general named General Butler who um, encountered three young black men who came into, who escaped into Virginia, you know, going, trying to go to a free state. And, um, and initially the general, um, he's debating on whether he should use them or not, you know, I mean, like sell them into slavery or like what, but at this time it's the beginning of the civil war. So it's tensions between the union and the South. So 
he didn't want to he didn't want to send them back down to the south so he put them to work but a southern general comes up and visits him and he uh he tells him like you know like what are you doing <laughs> and like this relates to how the the north was withholding from the south and not 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 complying with them and as more blacks came in and escaped and escaped the brother was writing about it in Lincoln and now it had got it had got open to where Lincoln was I'm sorry, this is bothering me. I can't I can't focus. I'm sorry. It had got open to where Lincoln had to comment on it. Sorry. And here they um here they had discussions of what they should do with the slaves. Like should they should they um should they use them for, you know, like like 'cause they call them contrabands who escaped. Should they use them for labor, should they allow them to join the war? Should they um, should they sell them off to make more money? Um, and many of these things they had thought of. They was they were doing it with the intent to get rid of the slaves after the war anyway. And so, hereby more they allow more and more slaves to come into the union, and some of them were being some thoughts were rolling around of being recruited as soldiers and or whatnot. And as more people died and the as more people died and the war went on, the thought of slaves um being able to enlist to enlist grew and grew. But however, blacks weren't contributing in many ways. And as for right here it states right am I, I'm sorry. As right here it states, um when Lincoln's master spy, Alan Pinkerton traveled undercover through the Confederacy, he wrote, My best source of information was the colored men. And he said, I, I mingled freely with them and found them ever ready to answer questions and to furnish me with every fact which I desired to process. And this is very important because, you know, how the people view slaves as, you know, monsters and people who are not competent to learn and things of that nature. So in the midst of all this, they sway in the, the northerners' hearts in the Union. And so in them, they're just people that, that were captured and enslaved their whole lives. And this is another problem that the Union had. They was also questioning whether the slaves, you know, were doing all this because they wanted to rise up and go against their former masters. When in reality, the slaves, they didn't, they weren't here for vengeance or like, like you know what I mean? They wanted, um, they wanted freedom. Like, freedom was their main goal. They didn't, they didn't care about anything else other than freedom. And if joining the Union and being around all these people... And joining and contributing to the war is what was going to lead to that. And they, the blacks were going to do whatever they had to do. They were escaping, leaving, risking their lives to get to the North just for a chance of freedom. But I feel like this article did a great job of explaining. Like I wish I wish I would have um, elaborated on this article before. But it, it um, makes a great point of how um, the Civil War was impacted by slavery. And how the Union was impacted by slavery. Because it shows how... It shows how the slaves, they they had began, they began coming in with the intent of doing whatever they could to just contribute. They just wanted to contribute in a way, and swaying the hearts of the Union, of the soldiers and generals and leaders in the North. Even got Abraham Lincoln on their side to um, establish the Emancipation Proclamation. And all that being said, um. Instead of, I'm sorry, instead of establish the Emancipation Proclamation in order to aid the Union and help them defeat the South. All in all, slavery was the core factor of the Civil War. And with all the um, stipulations that were going on between Lincoln's election and his wanting to reunite the Union in the South, slavery slavery became the catalyst that brought that this deterred I'm sorry, I can't find my words came <laughs> the catalyst that connected the two the two sides of the war. And with the contribution of the slaves, the North was able to prevail and eventually led to the freedom of the slaves. Mm -hmm. And overall I apologize for this um for this video being so sloppy. I've been I, I I have to do a lot in my household. I'm not gonna lie. I have to take care of a lot, and I be I work, I'm at work all day every day, but this is not an excuse. It's last week of school. I'm happy. Have a good grade in this class, and um, have a good grade in all my classes. So, 
I'm gonna um, go ahead and try to edit this. My internet's been moving really slow, but we're gonna see. Um, I had a great year. Um, bye.